Here's my top three control rackets. What are they? Let's find out. What is going on, guys? Um, first off, let me just say that to me, a control racket is usually an 1820 string pattern with a thinner beam, like we're talking around 20 millimeter to 22, uh, a smaller head size around 95, 97, 98 square inches, and a low flex. But for this video, I chose 16 by 19 string pattern rackets. The reason for it is because I wanted to do something more accessible for everyday recreational player. Because sometimes those 1820 string patterns are not for everybody. Because you gotta pretty much generate everything for it to work for you. So first off, maybe you've guessed it, it is the Dunlop CX200. With this model here, Dunlop introduced a new technology called Flex Booster, which basically consists of a thin rubber material in the shaft that absorbs harsh vibration. It actually complements what uh, Dunlop has been using for years, which is the Sonic Core, which also reduces shocks. So basically, now you got two materials. I would say that this racket is designed for a fast swinger player meaning if you have a fast swing and you like to attack um, i think that would be that would work for you also if you want to customize it you can also do that as well i think it's a great racket to actually uh, play with it um, because you know some people might say that for it to be like considered a control racket it has to be heavy um, but as you can see with the specs I think it's pretty well balanced, but that's just my opinion, of course, because sometimes adding too much weight, it can be a problem for some. This racket, to me, compared to its predecessor, delivers a, delivers a more harm-friendly feel, I think. So maybe this is why it's very comfortable on the arm. And for this play test, I actually strung it with the Dunlop NT-Max Plus at 53 pounds 24 kilos so if you look overall with this racket here it has some of the traditional specs of a control racket but combined with the feel and the speed of a spin racket so if you're looking for the best of both world i would definitely give the cx200 a try So, my number two is the Yonex V-Core Pro 97 310. I don't know why, but to me, Yonex feels like a perfect racket for my one-handed backhand. I can't really explain it, but I always feel like I get like a clean it out of it. I don't know if that ever happened to you guys. Uh, if it did, make sure to let me know down below. I'm very curious to know about that. So for this series, Yonex introduced a new system called Vibration Dampening Mesh. It's basically a mesh which is fully integrated into the handle in order to reduce unwanted vibration. So basically you get like a cleaner feel at impact. If you look at the specs, this is a whippy racket to swing. Very maneuverable, great access to spin. And what's funny about it too is that even though this racket is um, spin friendly, if you are a player who likes to go through the ball, you would feel that it has surprising control. I don't know why, maybe it's because it doesn't wobble as much, but it's pretty interesting. Also, this racket will be rewarding for players who have full swings. If you got like maybe a long take back or you got like a bigger loop, um, I think this one might work for you. For this play test, I strung it with the Polytor Strike at 55 pounds, 25 kilo, which to me is a great combination with this racket. I didn't know at first, but after trying it for, uh, for a while, I think it's a nice combo. And for some reason, again, um, 
this racket, I found that when I, whenever I'm hitting shot on the run, like either a forehand or a backhand, I get like a sweet contact out of it. It might just be me, but it's just something I notice. So if you're looking for a speedy and precise player's racket, you should definitely look at this one. So for my number three, it is the iconic Babala Pure Drive. I had to put this iconic racket on my list because it's definitely a surprising racket. Um, with this Pure Drive, I have had some players saying that they had arm issue with this racket, mostly because of the high stiffness. But if you do a few tweaks here and there, it could actually work in your favor. So that's one of the reasons why I had to put it on my list because the control is amazing. Um, first off, Babala introduced a new system called HTR, which basically stands for higher torsional rigidity. So you get more energy transfer to the ball. Also to not feel all of the stiffness, because if you look at the specs, and to have a more of a vibration dampening effect Babala has introduced in the shaft a very thin and extremely flexible rubber called SWX Pure Feel, which makes it even more comfortable. This racket is very easy to swing with, great access to spin, and very comfortable for a hard or incoming shot coming at you. Uh, a high stiffness racket can do that, and this racket is no exception to that. If you want to counterbalance the high stiffness of a racket, you can use a soft poly and strung it higher if your arm can take it. For that playtest, I went with the RPM Blast, strung at 55 pounds, 25 kilos. These are usually my guidelines, which I found is an all-around good string for this racket. I know that the RPM Blast is rated quite high in stiffness, but for that play test, in this racket, quite comfortable. So if you're looking for a light and explosive player's racket, give it a try, guys. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If it did, feel free to give me a like. If you get any question, any comment, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Also. If any of those rackets and all the gear that I've used in this video seem interesting to you, there will be links down below. Till next time, and remember guys, you got this.